Hello YouTube. Today's video is going to be a quick video on how to prevent this little screw which holds your disc brake pads into the caliper um, from seizing in place or if it has seized how to remove it. And the reason I'm making this video is this happened to me a few days ago and it was a huge pain in the butt so maybe this video will help somebody out. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not really showing me actually doing the work. There's two reasons for that. One is just that um, generally when something goes wrong on my bike, I just need to get it fixed right away. And the other reason is just in my current living situation, it's just a bit difficult to make videos. But hopefully that will change a bit later on this summer. Um, but this particular caliper is the model BS-RS505. It's part of the Shimano 105 group set. I'm not sure if this is still the most current model, but this dates from 2018, so... Um, they, they may still be using the same one, and in any case, they're all, they're all pretty similar. Um, but they all have this little screw here, which goes through the pads, which are these things, and just holds them in place in the caliper. Um, and on my bike, they both got, got seized, and the stock screw used a, just a standard slotted screwdriver head, and I w just wasn't able to remove them. I actually ended up just basically destroying the top of the screw. And I tried using vice grips to grip that that screw. I tried using a little pair of pliers, um, and nothing really worked. The, the little pliers just twisted or slipped, and my vice grips just weren't small enough. Um, and what ended up working was I used a pair of diagonal cutters, or side cutters, and used them this way. So like that, pinched that screw head and was able to twist it enough to actually remove it. Um, so that, that was the only thing I found that worked. I also tried, um, I used a hacksaw and stuck it in between the calipers and actually cut that little screw off. And then the back side just pulls out because the threads are actually here. Um, and then I was able to wiggle the pads out. And then I tried grip, gripping what was left of the screw from the inside and pulling it out that way. But actually, I just wasn't able to get enough grip with pliers um, I think maybe a small, fine pair of ice grips would work that way. But for me, what actually, the only way that I was able to remove this was with those diagonal cutters. Um, so that's a trick that might help. And then I replaced the originals with the, this sort of aftermarket model that uses an Allen key. And that's one way of preventing this from happening because the Allen key just allows you to apply um, quite a bit of force without stripping out the screw head, much more than the standard slotted head. Um, and I bought these on eBay and I searched for, I think it was called disc brake caliper pad pin or something like that. And then I just searched the model number. So I searched BS RS505 disc brake caliper pad pin. Um, they, they, they cost, they're like $5. I mean, it's not super cheap, but worth it, especially if you do end up with that seized. Um, and the other thing you can do is you can actually use this stuff called anti-seize compound, which if you haven't used anti-seize compound, that's revolutionized bike maintenance for me. You might be able to see that here with just a hint of sort of a copper coloring uh, that's squeezed out from, from underneath the, um, the screw there. And what it basically is, is it's basically copper particles suspended in, in an oil. And that somehow prevents, I'm not sure what the chemistry is, but it prevents a reaction, I guess some sort of galvanic reaction between the, the screw and the caliper body. And that helps prevent that from, from uh, seizing. And also the oil just obviously helps prevent any sort of rust from building up. So that should help prevent this from seizing in the future. And the Allen key head should help me apply more force to, um, to remove it next time. But hopefully that little trick helped somebody. Um, and that's the video for today, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.